Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question that many app developers encounter. Our viewer asks, why is SMS Manager requiring read phone state permission on some devices but not others? Let's dive into this puzzling issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's explore why the SMS manager requires the read phone state permission on some devices, but not others. This issue often arises due to differences in Android versions and device manufacturers. In your code, you are using the send text message method from SMS Manager. This method is designed to send SMS messages, but it can behave differently based on the device's Android version. The exception you encountered indicates that the read phone state permission is required. This can happen if the send text message method attempts to split a long message which may trigger the need for this permission. To avoid this issue, ensure that your messages are within the character limit for SMS. If a message exceeds this limit, the SMS manager may attempt to split it, leading to unexpected permission requests. In summary, the requirement for read phone state permission can vary based on device and Android version. Always test your app on multiple devices to identify such issues early. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Some devices require the read phone state permission for SMS Manager due to manufacturer-specific fixes for a bug in Android. In an emulator running Android 8.0, an exception occurs when sending SMS without this permission. To handle this, a workaround is implemented. If the exception indicates a lack of permission, the app requests the read phone state permission. This issue seems to be resolved in API 27, as the emulator does not throw the exception in that version. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.